Good morning, Trinidad. So it is eight o'clock in the morning, and uh, sleep in Trinidad is uh, not something that you get a lot of. So uh, I didn't get a lot of it last night. Hat, sunglasses, sunscreen, camera bag, shorts, which is bizarre, uh, and a short sleeve shirt, and I'm ready to go. And camera. Whoa, that is the Savannah. Yeah, we'll give it a look in Trinidad and it is really something. Fried bakes and powder of to pumpkin choka and all sorts of different chutneys and salsas. Uh, I got one for some uh, big glass of rum for the morning. <laughs> you can't and drink all day if you don't start before breakfast. You went completely um, western breakfast, no exception for the plantains. No, I got the plantains in there, I had to mix it up. Yeah. Are we supposed to be wearing the shirts today? Yes, it's just in case you get lost. Okay, but I'm the I'm the big white guy already. <laughs> it's, there's no, there's no big white. I, I'm six foot and white. I mean, like I stick out. So uh, my attire for today will have to change to the official branded logo attire of. So I ended up having to do this other uh, presto changeo with a shirt. Um, I was dressed with my uh, button-down shirt, and they said, "No, you've got to be in the." And Castora shirt today, so here I am. I'm reminded that uh, things run on island time here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, morning. I like the guy in a 12 year old. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> None of us whining. <laughs> All right, Jeff Kleiman, drink spirits at Angostura House Rum. Angostura is more than just bitters, it's uh, also rum, and uh, we're going to see how they do it. And welcome to the House of Angostura. <laughs> The home of hospitality. If you had ever, ever wondered where uh, Angus or Bitters come from, it's this dude up here who, uh, who did it in uh, Venezuela basically. And uh, he actually never came to Trinidad, but uh, his family did, and so did the Bitters. The writer Mark Twain. You know Mark Twain? Yeah. And he wrote this to his wife, so I'll quickly read it. Sorry for my voice because it's the whining season, <laughs> and there's so many activities taking place, and uh, we. You know, so. <laughs> so this was in 1874. Livy, my darling, I want you to be sure to have in the bathroom when I arrive a bottle of scotch whiskey, a lemon, some crushed sugar, and a bottle of Angostura bitters. Ever since I've been in London, I have taken in a wine glass what is called a cocktail made with those ingredients. Before breakfast, before dinner and just before going to bed. He saves with our glue it's on cool. meal and they will join the stays together. Pink and play rum. Spray. So behind this door is the secret of the Angus Door Bitters. And we're, we're gonna go in through this door and show you uh, basically what many people have not seen and that is where they make the bitters. So let's go. If you ever wondered where your bitters came from, it comes from right here at the Angostura Bitters. Uh, they haven't actually let people take pictures here much before. Uh, but we've got your percolators here where you're percolating their herbs, and, uh, which we don't know, which we're going to try to find out a little bit more. And, uh, and they're left here in the tanks. So uh, this, is, this, is, this is where your bitters come from. In this mixer that the secret ingredients from Angostura uh, bitters are stored or actually ground, um, if you look there's a, a little bit of it right there. Of course, we can't tell exactly what that is. Some 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 enterprising sleuth would be able to to say, oh, that, that looks like uh, some uh, bitter orange peel. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. You can tell me that it's gentian. It's on the label. <laughs> no joke. That's the secret bitter mix. One of my favorite signs of the Angostura story. It is awesome. Don't walk. Rough. So this is uh, actually, if you look back up there, uh, we have, I'll show it up there. Those are actually the big ass. That's the big ass still. The big ass still. I mean, big actually still. impressive. That big, gives me a little bit of a stiffy though. <laughs> As column stills go, that is, that's impressive. That's very impressive. This is the rack house here uh, at the like, so They actually uh, put their barrels uh, end on end like this rather than sideways to kind of mitigate some of the angel share. Because their angel share here is, is just ridiculous. How much is the angel share of that? How much is the angel share? One drop. <laughs> One drop. How much is your share? <laughs> As we're walking around this rack house here, um, a couple of the things that are really impressive is how high. Let's go here. How high up here? 
these barrels are stacked. We've got, uh, let's see here, this is rum for export and rum for recycle. Um, I'm happy to recycle this for them if, uh, if, they're, if they're interested. It's actually pretty amazing that they are doing, like at the end of the day, like this sticky note right here, <laughs> which is like, no, it's not stuck on, it's stapled on. Exactly, how did they know? It says everything about what's in this palette. So if I were to pull this pull off... <laughs> how will they know now? How, I mean, I, I know that they've got stuff on the barrels in chalk, but it's, it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty amazing considering that the volume of rum that they do, that, that this is, this is the uh, filing system, which is kind of like my desk filing system. I write things on sticky notes all the time Me and then lose it. This stuff right here is actually wood sugar. Sugar. It's the it's actually the, the the you know when you when you have a spirit uh -huh. um, and you taste caramel and it's sweet it's yeah. actually coming from the caramelized wood sugar and that's when it leaches out like that that's that's kind of what you see. Okay, I gotta be honest. Of all the process for making alcohol, the bottling line, although it's a sort of uh, industrial marvel, uh, could be the least interesting part of a distillery tour. Um, this bottling plant. Uh, basically looks almost identical to every bottling plant in every spirit category. So if you look around, uh, basically, I mean, you've got a process of uh, cleaning bottles, filling bottles, labeling bottles, and, um, you know, kind of packing in the box. Luckily, it's not, it's not running, which is good because they're, the bottling lines are notoriously loud. For the first drink, cheers. 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 Got a kind of Caribbean Indian fusion here going on in the plate again. Lemon lime bitters. Fucking awesome. So I've been just given the cocktail lovers. Uh, it's the old issue, it's not the current issue. I will still read it. But even better are the cocktail lovers in person. And there you go. And here we are in Trinidad, looking forward to all this rum fun we're going to be having in the sun. Yeah. What she said. I couldn't resist and had to buy the uh, Simon Jubilee Limited Edition bitters. And this honkin' bottle, which is, uh, let's see, it's 430. 473 milliliters of bitters. So uh, now we're back on the bus and uh, heading back to the hotel after a great visit to Isora. It was uh, really great to uh, come back to Isora and uh, see the bitters in the bitters room. I'm glad I could bring that to you guys. And uh, it's great. I am super excited about two things. Number one is I have a costume that, while it may not fit, it is going to be big-er, so I might be able to fit in it. But the other thing I am super excited about, honestly, is I got the Angostura Trinidad Carnival Hits 2003. I can't tell you how much I love the music here. Uh, and getting this music to bring it back, totally awesome. A little less fat guy in a little coat. It's still um, going to have to tape the nipples down so there's no nipple slippage. And this belt, it actually fits. So uh, I think we're maybe, possibly in good shape. We will see. Just called back home and uh, touched base there. They've got a 31 inch snowstorm that uh, they're dealing with soon. And uh, now I'm at Trinidad. This is the sunset at Port of Spain. And it's pretty stunning. <laughs> Coming up to a dinner on a boat doesn't suck. No. Just saying. I am here with one of the late night delicacies of Trinidad. Uh, which is corn soup. It is incredibly awesome, and it's one of those things with doubles and bacon shark that you do in Trinidad. So that's uh, corn soup. It's really good. It's past midnight now, and uh, I came back from that uh, party and uh, have been editing this video to uh, get it up for you guys so you could see what uh, what's going on here in Trinidad. As you can see, the party's beginning to start. Um, 
fair bit of rum tonight, and then the corn soup. So uh, tomorrow will be rum tasting and um, food demonstrations and all sorts of cool stuff. So definitely tune in. Be sure that you uh, like somewhere down here this uh, video and subscribe because we got more coming. It's 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 gonna be cool. So thanks for watching. Uh...